In today's episode of Road to the Show, we are visiting with a pro builder who is a long-term friend of the bike shed and has had a piece of machinery at every single one of our shows. We are, of course, down at Debolex XQ. Callum, thank you for having us, mate. Good to see you. It's my first time here, and I'm delighted to see how many motorcycles you have in today. <laughs> We're literally Almost too many, eh? surrounded by them. Oh, it's just joyous, and it's so clean, man. Yeah. Everywhere's beautiful. Um, before we talk about the workshop and about your past shows you've done with us, because you've been with us since 2013, exhibiting at our first show. Yeah, it's been a Snuck up on the drive and tucked <laughs> one in there, didn't you? Yeah, they um, did. Let's talk about the bikes. That's what people want to talk about. So these are your DB25s, right? That's it, yeah. Yeah, so these are number seven, number six. These are the latest two that we've finished from this series of uh, Ducati monsters that we're building, so. So the customers haven't received these yet? These are uh, just getting the final Blue Bike touches. number six has been delivered, but it's just returned for a little photo shoot that we've, we've been doing. Excellent. Um, and number seven is, is ready to be delivered. And is that, are you up to number seven in the series of 25 now? Uh, but the, the, order, the order is always a bit funny because you can choose your number in the series. Right, okay. Um, so uh, that doesn't necessarily represent the order in which it was built. But um, yeah, these are, these are actually bikes number, I think they're bikes number seven and eight uh, in, in the order. Talk, us, talk everyone through the, this idea of a series of bikes. This is the first time doing this, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so it was, it was a big learning curve for us. We, we, we always, built one-off projects, you know. They were, yeah. um, I remember you've always had the one-of-one one graphic. Exactly, yeah, the one-of-one one was always on the tail, and, and, yeah. and the goal, the, 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 well, how we sold it was that it was, there's only one, and only ever be one, even if we had someone else that, you know, wanted something very similar, we wouldn't do that. And mm. they're normally aluminium bodywork as well, um, quite complicated builds. The series, we really wanted to basically get more bikes out there. We quite mm. often had people see you know, a Triumph build we've done or another Ducati build and they'd, they'd want one and we'd, we didn't say no, but normally there was a long timeline for it or we'd have to say that we can't do exactly that, we need to do something different. The series was like, let's build a prototype, let's build um, essentially a blank canvas that people can then, um, uh, you know, choose their colour scheme and everything and we can get them out the door a bit quicker as well. Mm. Um, so when did you, when was the first DB25? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, a couple, couple of years, couple years ago. ago, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think. The show years. last year was amazing because you had like, don't, these two definitely weren't there. I'm not sure if you see it was Minty the green one. was yeah. there. But yeah, we, you had like a series of about, you had them all laid out and it was yeah. just such a That was pop. a really cool moment actually because we hadn't, we hadn't actually seen a few of them together. I think we've been yeah. busy building them, but to actually step back and actually see a few together. We also had the prototype there, which, so the prototype, all the body works built from aluminium. Right. And the remaining 24 bikes are all made from carbon fiber. Um, and that was quite cool to see, you know, they're, they look identical, but you, you know. And you do all of those processes, all of those processes happen here at HQ, right? Exactly, yeah. Right. Yeah, so from, so the prototype stage, yeah, all the metal shaping. Um, and then when we got to this, it was, it was, yeah, big learning curve for us. We hadn't done much with carbon fiber. So um, there was a lot of question marks how we would take the handmade aluminium panels and capture that in a, in a composite panel uh, and not lose any of those details and, mm. and do it with accuracy and repeat it. Um, so, so all the tank seat Everything, fairing. yeah. So there's 23 carbon fiber parts that we produce on this. Um, there's a number of other laser cut sheet metal parts and then there's the CNC rear subframe, top yoke and, and other various brackets and pieces. So um, when you get the Monster 1200, what, and you start stripping back, what do you start, do you go all the frame off, all the way back uh, to the engine? Well, we, for the dry build, we, we strip it back, so we're pretty much swing arm, frame and engine, and then we build up, we do what, what we call dry build, so we build the whole sort of bike up, carbon panels fitted, do all the, the gap checking, make sure the panels really fit well, and then at that time we, we strip the thing right back to just an engine, and then the frame will go to paint, uh, all the bodywork will be painted, seat will be trimmed and uh, and then the final assembly which like anything just I, I always think we get to final assembly you're on the home straight but actually that is such a, a long process as well because right. you know it's all the little details and, and brackets and bolts and little pieces that 
has to be put together in a certain way, but mm. the end result for us is, oh, um, is well worth it. Incredible. It's so nice to see, like the show last year, a bunch of them all together. Mm. I mean, you said go to paint. You do the paint as well, right? We do, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we do everything here uh, apart from Cerakote. Um, right. We have a, uh, a company that does that for us. But yeah, the, um, the paint's a big process. Obviously, <laughs> it's, I mean, building the prototype 22 panels had to be made in aluminium, which was a long process. Then 22 molds have to be made right. to and create the carbon fiber. These, um, are these, these are the molds? These are some of the molds, yeah. So we've right. got a tank skin there, a nose, a belly and a tail. Um, and these are some parts that have come out of the mold. So a, a right. carbon fiber seat pan and a carbon fiber electrics box. Um, so these will be then, you can see this has a rough edge to it. So mm. these, will, these will be trimmed along the trim lines. Um, they'll be fitted to the bike. The, the fitment will be refined so they, they fit perfectly. And then we'll be preparing those into, initially into primer and then into the color that the, the customer's chosen. these patterns? Yep, so this is pre preg carbon fiber in its flat sort of state. It comes yeah. off the roll, which is just there. Right. And, um, so yeah, basically you peel, you peel off the, the top layer and that leaves a, a tacky carbon, which is like a, a resin infused carbon fiber. Um, and then that gets laid into the mold. It gets put in a vacuum bag and then it gets put in the oven. Amazing. We come in in the morning and pop it out of the oven and, <laughs> and there you go. So it's... Um, oh, hang on, there's another one over here. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's oh, yeah, not that, actually been, been seen yet, but it's... Um, that colour. It's really cool. It's, it's one of the more, I guess, slightly subtle colour schemes, but, but it really is uh, it's certainly yeah, one of my favourites. It's. Um, it's gorgeous. Well, um, is that an existing colour or is it one you mixed? So that's actually a, a Porsche colour, stone right. grey. Um, the customer out in, in America chose that and um, yeah, we've it's just literally just done the final assembly here and um, it's ready for a road test and, uh, and then we'll be shipping it out. Oh, it's a great choice of colour. That yeah, is beautiful. I really like it. It's, um, yeah, it's got quite a green you know, sort of uh, tinge to it and it's... Um, <laughs> Love the seat. Seat's really nice. This, yeah. um, so we do all the upholstery in house as well. Um, so there's a carbon fiber seat pan with a matte finish, and then um, yeah, all our seat plates and Alcantara. Uh, I think this is called Kiwi. Oh, man, yeah, it's wonderful. Do you have a favorite DB25? Uh, it, it's it's really hard to say. Um, they 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 all yeah, it just depends. Like the the, the Rosso Dino color there is, is mm. really racy. This has a lot of class to it, so um, maybe I'll, I'll spend the day on track on the Dino and, yeah. <laughs> and then ride for dinner right on. on the yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then pop it on your color matched paddock stand. Exactly, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's uh, yeah, another feature that we um, we do as well. But yeah, and then this is Joe's bike, Joe, which is, um, he took that around the Pyrenees right. last year with some friends and um, we just got that in to just uh, Bit of a give service. it once over, yeah, before, before another season yeah. of hard ride it. But, and this one's early stages, this is Yeah, so this the is the dry carbon. build stage, which we spoke about earlier. Right, okay. Um, so that's raw carbon fiber. Um, it's beautiful like that. It is nice. Yeah, yeah it really is. It's, um, it's just, at this stage, it's so important just to get all those panel gaps really right. And um, yeah, just, just make sure everything fits. And that, you know, you get that right now, then you'll, um, you know, when we come to final assembly, it'll... Uh, and this, the subframe, you said this is a CNC? Yeah, so that's um, yeah, CNC aluminium rear subframe with various brackets and pieces that hold the electric components and, um, and, and the mount for the tail. Um, so from there backwards is all, all something we designed on CAD and then, uh, and then yeah, bring that to the boat. So I mean, you've got, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in here today. <laughs> Nice. So yeah, a few Good too day. many. I mean, we've, 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 actually, the, the tough thing this year has been, well, I guess every year, is the, the weather's not been too good. So I've been waiting right. to road test a couple of bikes. Right. And uh, yeah, the, the yeah. snow and Salt the and rain, and these, yeah. yeah, not been as fun. But we're just coming into spring, I think. So Absolutely. It was well, sunny this morning. It was. It's yeah. quite nice. Maybe today I, I might get on a road test. And, um, oh, man. So I, I love seeing all the old tools in workshops. Why are yeah. lathes always ancient, aren't I they? Know. I mean, what year is this? <laughs> But they were they really were built well then and um so yeah. that's a 1959 yeah colchester student um so we'll do a lot of prototyping and various different spaces and things on that yeah. um so this one this looks like something out of robot wars yeah <laughs> yeah that's so that's a tank mold and uh for, for our polymer tanks that we that we make and 
And then talking of Robot Wars, our, our TIG welder there was actually, um, it was the TIG welder that was on, in the Robot Wars is it? workshop. It is, yeah. <laughs> that, and we have a MIG welder as well that came from there. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. That's, yeah. that, that's one for the family. I know, it's quite cool, isn't it? But um, yeah, so a lot of welding happens here, different fixtures and, and, and bits and brackets and pieces Fantastic. that go on the bike. So, um, we're, what are you what are you bringing to the show this year? Are you able to bring a couple of DB25s? Definitely, yeah. 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 Um, hopefully, we can yeah, prize the the orange and the blue bikes uh, back off there, off the customers, and yeah, I'd love to have those yeah. there. Um, it's possible we'll have another one finished. Unfortunately, the the, the USA bike, I think that'll be heading back out there, but we might be able to keep hold of it. Let's see, see okay. what we can do. And I mean, because this is quite a run now. It's ten years of shows for Bike yeah. Shed since 2013. As we said, you, you snuck one into the first show and then you've had builds through every show, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a, an amazing thing to have, yeah. Have, it's, it's a nice thing just to have the show every year. It's yeah. not, obviously, it's, it's, yeah, we love building the bikes to the customers and getting them out there, but the show is a chance for us to kind of show what we've been up to. And mm. um, yeah, it's been fun. It's, I'm just um, thinking back a through a, a few of them. So obviously we had the, the poster bike in 2019 was the Red Scrambler. Yeah, 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 and, three. Um, last year we had the ZRX and we had um, your 749 build. 749, yeah, that, that was in bike. Paris, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so And was... Quacky, first Paris show 2015, I want to say, there was Maybe. the <laughs> Bones Heart CB750. Yeah, oh, yeah, because CB. yeah. CB750s were sort of your bag for a little while and then you evolved into. Yeah, I think we probably, I don't know how many, did we build eight CB750s maybe? Right. They were the first kind of. They were, yeah, that's the first, they were the first kind of bikes I saw people customizing. Yeah. Um, there was a company in America, I think Steelbank Customs, they were doing yeah, like a really, yeah. really cool job with, is it classified moto? Yeah. Right? Yeah, they did some cool stuff. So they were quite inspiring thing. at the beginning. Um, and the CBs seemed quite accessible. Uh, so that was the first bike we yeah, found, found an, uh, and an old CB. In. Did you build those CBs in this workshop? Uh, the first one I built at home, I did bring right. it here um to to do some final welding and, and paint it um so some some stuff happened here but then i think from bike the second bike onwards up to about the 10th bike they were kind of the cbs and the w800s and then when we built the 749 that's when we really dived into bodywork that's kind of where we i think we found our style right um and, and really the aluminium bodywork is really what what we love doing and and that and i think that's one of the reasons we you know we can, we can create such interesting shapes mm. Um, and that's why we love doing full fairings, even though yeah. they, um, full fairings is a huge amount of work. Obviously, it would be far easier to just to do a naked bike at times. Mm. <laughs> but we, yeah, you really get a chance to play with the, obviously the body shapes and then the paint work. Yeah. You, know, you really make some standout bikes. I mean, like you say, from the 749 through to the stuff you're doing now, like your style and language is, is so apparent. And it doesn't matter whether it's bright orange or a sort of stone gray, like, you still know it's you. Yeah. It, you've somehow managed to wrap your brand into so many different <laughs> styles, but it really works so beautifully, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that comes across. It's, um, I remember there was a period, probably towards the end of those, building those Hondas, and I was kind of thinking, and how can we develop our style? And I was thinking about that a fair amount, but it, in the end, it was something that just happened naturally. And mm. same with the colors. It's, you know, we started doing the fairing bikes, and, the, and we, that brought more colors in, and it is something that seems to have grown fairly naturally and, and uh, yeah, it's just, it's just just something we love, you know, producing bikes around this design, but. Well, they are stunning. It's so good to see this place. <laughs> see all your little areas well, we where keep, you do all the work. We keep tucked away, but like it's, this um, beautiful, pristine little white room you've got here. Yeah, so obviously all the final assembly happens there. And final assembly room, right? Yeah, this, obviously there's so so many components and, and things like I was showing you earlier, but yeah, all the bolts and bits and pieces oh, yes. you have. And, um, so organized. Yeah, there's lots to it and yeah, you kind of, when you're doing fine assembly, you need everything to hand and, yeah. and, uh, and just kind of, it helps to, um, yeah, put it together, you know, the best way you can. But um, yeah, it's, uh, we try and, there's, with, with a bike, there's so many components to it. So, and there's so many different processes and we feel like you need, you need a clean shop just to help yeah. with that and, uh, and not <laughs> we'll get yeah. muddled up. But. So what, what's next? Do you have your next series planned yet or still still in the works we've got some ideas in the in the making for the next series but 
uh, another series will be the route will go. Okay. Um, it is certainly as opposed to the one of ones. Yeah, we have we've had a little one off build sneak in. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, we, yeah, we sort space. of planned that we, we wouldn't do another one, not, okay. not because we don't enjoy it, but, but these kind of make a little bit more business sense and we can produce and get more bikes out there. Mm. Um, but there was one kind of one-off project that we kind of, we, we always felt like we really wanted to do. Um, and, and a customer came along and, and was quite keen, keen to be involved with that. So um, oh. yeah, that's happening. So Well, let, when there's more to share on that, we'll yeah. have to come back. I know, looking forward to, to showing more about it, but yeah. fingers crossed we'll have it done for next year's show cool. and um, it'd be cool, good to show that there. There was one other thing I wanted to ask you about, just down the far end, I saw your, your Royal Enfield build. This was yeah. something you put together for um, the Malay Rally, right? That's it, yeah. Well, we, we spoke with Royal Enfield a while ago and um, we really wanted to do something with this bike. I'd spent some time riding Malays, uh, I think they call it the, uh, the Malay Royale. Oh, they're, the they're, sort of they're scrambler. That's it, yeah. And I'd, I'd we mechanic on the rally, and I'd rode that bike a lot, and I absolutely loved it, and, and loved the engine. So we spoke to Royal Enfield, and um, yeah, we got a, got one of the 650s in, and um, and we basically ended up building this as our initially as our mechanical support bike for the rally, mm. um, and then uh, with the goal of, of modifying it further, and, and potentially this, it could be something we do as a as a series or. Right. Um, I love the, so you've got a new tail on here and... Yeah, so the, the rear hoop's been all CNC machined yeah. and the rear light bracket. Then we've got a carbon fibre rear mug guard, carbon fibre seat pan, uh, and then our custom yokes, top and bottom. And then with max and suspension all round, wider rims. Uh, and uh, yeah, basically oh, just really want it, I mean it handles great as a standard bike, we absolutely love it. Because Harris as, as made it the frame, didn't they, for these? Yeah, I believe they, they have a strong link with Royal yeah. Enfield and... Um, I came down today on the Super Meteor 650. Nice. It, I love the engine, it's yeah. such a great motor, it's just so relaxed but engaging and yeah. Yeah, cool. in terms of just like just fun fact, you just get on, it's it's not stacks of power but it's certainly enough and, mm. and the handling, just as a whole package, it's it's a really fun bike to ride and um, yeah, if any chance I can sling my leg over this, I, yeah, I always can't, can't wait, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a really cool bike. Cool. Ah, oh, sorry, just, and we had this, <laughs> yeah. this, this was at the, the, maybe the 2018, 2019 show? Yeah, I think so. Oil yeah. in the blood, I think that was around, the, uh, yeah, and this is. Yes, yeah, so this is the Energica. Um, mm. This is our first electric bike that we've had a chance to play with. Um, and it's, yeah, I mean, we, we spent some time shooting at Brands Hatch on this and had a chance to sort of uh, take it around there and the, the power delivery and yeah. everything about it is, is really amazing. So we, we had, again, we had a bit of a short timeline on this to uh, get it ready for the All in, All in the Blood launch uh, of their film. But we, um, yeah, managed to get it done. And uh, yes, yeah, it was a really fun project. Yeah, and uh, a nice place to finish, the post <laughs> in 2019. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a cool it's like that. That's not here today though. Unfortunately not. Okay, no. cool. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's good. I don't want to say about that. <laughs> Mate, listen, thank you so much for having us down. Um, and we'll see you in May. Lovely, yeah, look forward to it. Cool, wicked. So we did the whole video and um, <laughs> forgot one of the things we intended to do, which was to start up one of the bikes, most important thing. So, whoops, we're gonna go start it up. I'm looking forward to this. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please give us a like, follow and subscribe and check out the rest of our Road to the Show videos and everything else on our YouTube channel. Hopefully we will see you at the Bike Shed Show 26th, 27th, 28th of May. See you there.